July 22nd, live at the LA Sports Arena, XPW presents a one-year anniversary spectacular. In the main event, XPW champion Sabu puts the title on the line against his most formidable foe as Rob Black brings Terry Funk to XPW. Their battles are legendary now. XPW will experience the carnage. Tickets to the Super Show available at all Ticketmaster locations. July 22nd, 8 p.m., the LA Sports Arena. Rob Black says to Sabu and Lazy, go fuck yourself. Get your official XPW merchandise, T-shirt of the Messiah, Homeless Jimmy, Hungry Homeless and Hardcore, Don't Cross the Boss's Wife, I'm talking about Lizzie Borden, the official XPW logo T-shirt, this ain't your daddy's wrestling, tag team superstars, the West Sider, Sabu, Scarred for Life, White Trash, Johnny Webb, Fried Chicken and Ass Kicking, our official XPW embroidered baseball cap with front and back logo. XPW's home videos of Lizzie Borden, Christy Miss, XPW TV's The Revolution Will Be Televised, Baptized in Blood, Hardcore Conception, and 8x10 Glossies of your favorite XPW stars get your official XPW merchandise today. Visit XPW's official website at www.xpwrestling.com or call the XPW hotline at 818-779-6475. What a week it's been here in XPW. Last week, we saw Rob Black's attempt to send Abdul the Butcher to destroy Sabu completely failed. And this week, his plan to send Sabu up to Canada to lose the XPW title, that failed as well. Not only did Sabu retain the XPW title in Canada, he became the Stampede Pacific Champion. Stampede, How do you like that? Stampede, Stampede, Canada. You call that a country, man. They haven't even won any war. No guerras for them. Chico, I got one thing to say. Sabu better be sinking because on July 22nd, he is going to have to face Terry Funk. And that is going to be the last day that Sabu is the XPW champion. You can mark my words, man. Yeah, but hey, will Rob Black even make it to that night? I mean, this guy isn't exactly stable. He's a little unstable, about? if you know what I mean. L Lazy and Cebu, this they're driving this guy bananas. And ladies and bond. gentlemen, welcome they to are. another edition of XPW TV. I'm Larry Rivera, the host. This is a troublemaker right here. Chris Close, man. Let me yeah, tell you, we're going to go to the first match right now. Carlito Montana and Paul the Clown. Let's go to the footage. I man. want to talk about Rob Black. The guy's got no. bonkers. Footage. Completely Polo. bonkers. Paul Montana, let's go. You know, please cross. At this time, I want to tell all the people in the sport arena, all the mother and father with the little chamaquito, to keep them in your arms. Hold on to them because this guy, Polo, you never know. He may take off with you kids. Well, this guy, look at him, just glaring out to these fans. And, and you're exactly right. Maybe it's about time at home. You might want to put those little toddlers to bed, tuck them in next to the old teddy bear, because this guy is set for action. This guy's very scary. Look at the makeup. Very look spooky. At He's a big guy, giant guy. But any clown that works in the circles will tell you that the, the makeup of the clown has to be done in a certain way not to frighten the children. Because look at him, yeah. just coming in like that with that garbage bag that he calls a costume. He's going to scare the kids right away. So you have to, to keep that in mind, this club. And we hear the music right now. And that music only means one thing. That's Carlito Montana, Larry Rivera. And Larry, I'm going to go on record right now. I got to agree with you. You have said time and time again in the past. And one thing, if we're going to agree on one thing, this has got to be it. I'm talking about Carlito Montana. What an underrated athlete in the sport of professional wrestling. You know, Chris Cross, you're impressing me tonight because you're using your brains. Carlito, I said it right too, right? You need a little practice oh, in the pronunciation, on. but it's Carlito Montana. There he is. Look at that. That's the picture of cool. Look at that, man. The big oh. Cubanazo is in the house. Like they say in Cuba, man, this guy is chévere. He's got it going. Oye, que se cuenta, brother? 
Aquí está. Oh, 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 Larry Clubber. Look at that guy. Wait a minute. Cherry's on. I don't think they're in season right now. You know, we got to talk about Carlito Montana. You remember, back in February at the Palace in Hollywood, he gave an impressive display in the King of the Death Match. Not only a great technical wrestler, but what a display he put on in that death match after he was eliminated by John Cronin. So yeah, right man. now, unfortunately, we got to hear from this buffoon, that buffoon being Guido. The introducing first, every man's dream and every kid's nightmare from Chicago. I don't know, man. Hold on. Hold on to the children. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, Carlito Montana. That's right, brother. The number one contender. This guy in the, the Messiah, man. You ask me. Those are my two, two top contenders for the title. And what top contenders they are. Carlito Montana and the Messiah. But right now, Carlito's got his work cut out for him. What contrast of style we got in this matchup. Look at the size of Pogo. He is huge. You know, Look you at were... those boots. Power. So much power behind him. Right to the head. You were talking about the deathmatch tournament. Carlito is tough, man. He landed in his back in a better light bulb. That's right, yeah. The light bulb chatter. Ah! sticking in his back. Very tough guy, but look at this boy, he's crazy, he's a maniac. I think he escaped from, from Camarillo or something like that. All that weight now from Pogo choking Carlito Montana into those turnbuckles. Carlito looks like to be in a world of hurt. Irish whip coming up to the near side. Pogo falls in with that huge clothesline. The cheer mass of the body, of the, the chest. Look at Pogo. Crashing on, on Carlito in the corner, leaving him knocking the breath the wind out of him what is pogo doing he was looking up so weird now like forearm right to the chest of montana montana trying to shake it off pogo now going for another one pogo the chop there you know when he looks up in the in the sky he's talking to the spirit hablando con los espíritu ahí bro he's crazy Kazoon tight off the top rope drop kick reverse drop kick from carlito montana and look at the speed, look at the quickness and the agility of this guy. And he can still hang with these big, tough men. You got to give it up for Montana. Springboard over the top. Wow, wonderfully executed. But Galito, I think, shot it over, shot it a little bit. May have gone head first into the guard rail. But he's tough. Look at him get up like nothing happened. That move took a bit out of both men. However, Pogo the Clown is down. Back right on that concrete floor here at the sports arena. Look at that. He grabbed a Coke or a beer or something. Now kicking away those stiff kicks from Carlito Montana. Those are stiff. Hey, these fans, these pelon in the crowd, these guys better be careful not to mess with the Cubanazo Carlito Montana. Well, Carlito now. Oh, look at that. Off the top rope. Right on to Pogo the Clown. You see that like a butterfly, he went flying. He was beautiful, gliding through the air. And now look at Carlito John with some of these fans here. Neither one of these wrestlers too popular with these with the fans here at the sports arena. On the second rope now. Series of blows to the head from Montana on to Pogo. Carlito and look at this. Taking it to this giant of Pogo the Clown. All the way in the corner. And look at him showboat now. Carlito got that face paint, that makeup all over from Pogo. Another Irish rope. Oh, did you see that, Rivera? That was a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous close line, bro. Tremendous. I know what you're trying to say. Incredible. The power. Exhibiting the power of Pogo the Clown. And just like that, this match completely turned around into Pogo's favor. Such power, such force. Looks like he's going for a textbook suplex. Oh, I drove him face first. Pogo the Clown. This guy's got so much in his arsenal. I'm a little bit Look worried. Look at him. I am worried right now. Estoy preocupado for my, my brother here, Carlito Montana. He look, it's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Fireman's carrying out. Oh, look at that. Right onto the ribs, it looked like. Very damaging move to the rib cage. Looks like Pogo might have hurt himself. What is this? Hey, this guy. Look at oh! This is Japanese light heavyweight superstar. Where did he come from? Nosawa. That's right, it's Nosawa. He's in the ring. Look at that, the chair right around the neck of Carlito Montana. Nosawa, this guy from, from Japan, what is he doing here? You know, that's the only way to get the, the advantage on Pogo the Clown because he was really going in this match 
The only way that this guy knows how was going to get it. Like, it's this bus. You gonna tell me you, you really understand what he's saying? What's the matter with you? Why you made me chat up while he's talking in the mic? Was that your language? That was not my language, man. My language Pogo is Pogo the clown going after Nosawa now. The hey, the referee say no contest, man. Still to come, Kid Chaos versus Rosano. And in the main event, Supreme versus the Messiah. Stay with us. Can you believe the nerve of this guy? He probably comes in illegally from a country like Japan or something like that. Hey, Chico. Where is your green card talking hey, about illegal? It doesn't matter, man. I was here in a legal manner. What I want to know is what this guy, this Japanese guy is here sticking his nose in the XPW business. Well, listen, Larry, we found out this guy, his name is Nosawa, a student of Onita, developed a huge reputation in Japan and Mexico, and Rob Black, if you had a brain in your head, you would give this guy a shot in XPW. He is awesome, this guy. Completely amazing. Chris Cross, nobody cares what you think. And I want to tell the SPW fan, when we return, you will see the clash between Steve Risono and Keith Chaos. Yeah, humanitarian Rob Black. He breaks two friends apart. I think you know what you're who talking care, about. Who cares about that, man? We're also going to see some more violent crap. The Messiah, as he takes on Supreme, right here on the SPW TV. What is wrong with you? What are you talking That's about? Fine, I'm, I'm fine. He's, he's good. Fine. July 22nd, live at the LA Sports Arena, XPW presents a one-year anniversary spectacular. In the main event, XPW champion Sabu puts the title on the line against his most formidable foe as Rob Black brings Terry Funk to XPW. Their battles are legendary, and now XPW will experience the carnage. Tickets to the Super Show available at all Ticketmaster locations. July 22nd, 8 p.m., the LA Sports Arena. Rob Black says to Sabu and Lazy, go fuck yourself. Get your official XPW merchandise, t-shirt of the Messiah, homeless Jimmy, hungry, homeless, and hardcore. Don't cross the boss's wife. I'm talking about Lizzie Borden. The official XPW logo t-shirt is eight your daddy's wrestling. Tag team superstars, the West Sider. Sabu, scarred for life. White Trash, Johnny Webb, Fried Chicken, and Ass Kicking, our official XPW embroidered baseball cap with front and back logo. XPW's home videos of Lizzie Borden. Christy Miss, XPW TV's The Revolution Will Be Televised, Baptized in Blood, Hardcore Conception, and 8x10 Glossies of your favorite XPW stars, get your official XPW merchandise today. Visit XPW's official website at www.xpwrestling.com or call the XPW hotline at 818-779-6475. Mr. Black, Mr. Black. Whoa, 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 come down, what? There's a process server out in the front and he wants you to sign for a lawsuit. Lawsuit? Yeah. We gotta get out of here. You gotta yeah. get me out of here. Okay, what do you give want? Give me a jacket. Okay, I'll give you my jacket. Work. There we go. Okay, the, the XPW hat, you gotta take it off. Whoa! Dude, shut up! Give me, give me the hat! Okay, here you go. Mm. Let's get, go. get me out of here. Alright. Let's do some work. See what I mean, Rivera? Black, your boss! The guy's losing his freaking mind! Did you see the hair? Well, you know, up and froed and si no te calla, te voy a dar un bofetón. Please cross your mouth. is going to get you in trouble again. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to assure you that Mr. Black is A-OK. -okay. His hair is by no means a representation of his mental state of mind. Right now, we are going to go to the ring to see the match between Steve Risono 
and Keith Chaos, two former best friends. Going against former childhood best friend Kid Chaos in this matchup here tonight. You know, this goes, you ever seen that maybe this guy, Arizona, is making the right decision? Right decision? That's right. That's correct. How can you possibly say that? I mean, this guy, he grew up with Kid Chaos. These two were best friends. They used to ride the, the Kawasaki three-wheelers down and up the street, go to the ice cream trucks together, sleep in the sleeping bags in the backyard in the tent, play basketball, and now he turns his back for money? I don't Give care. me a break. I don't care about the tricycle or whatever, going to Disneyland or whatever. Man. This is all about money. Making the money is the year 2000, man. It's all about I know what year dog. it is. I know what year Making it is. It dog, bro. makes no difference, Rivera, and you know it. Right now, the music, the 21-year-old, and I say 21, what a future this guy's got ahead of him. Kid Chaos coming to the ring. You know, there's no denying that Kid Chaos is a powerful force here in the XPW. Very agile, very experienced yeah. in the light heavyweight style of wrestling, flying around, but at the same time combining with the amateur moves, knows how to get around his way around in the mat. Kid Chaos ready to make his way down the aisle right in front of us here at the announce table. There he is, Kid Chaos. He's a good, good looking young kid. Let's hope he doesn't get caught up in all of this violent crap that's been going on around here in the XPW, man. Kid Chaos definitely wants some revenge, and he wants it right here on XPW TV. That's right. He's pointing at Steve Rosado, that dirty sellout in the ring. Selling out to your guy, Rob Black. That's right. Let's see if he does what he takes. You notice, when I do these matches, Chris Cross, unlike you, I am very partial, very objective, because I am still a commentator in the sport of professional wrestling. I am with this side. Of course, Robert Black is the main man with Donald Trump and porno. But keep in mind that I am being very fair, very objective in the observation of the man. You're kissing his butt is thank, all you're doing. Thank you very much. You're kissing his butt. Here goes Guido. There he is, the 21-year-old himself. Oh, Rosano, look at that. Give me a wait for that guy Guido to announce him. He just took it right to Kid Chaos from behind. That's right, with the Pearl Harbor sneak attack to the back. Knee right to the midsection of Kid Chaos. Rosano, look at him celebrating. What is what is he proving? He's proving nothing. It's a good time. Ah, oh, Chop. Steve Rosano. Chop now onto Kid Chaos. Rosano and Kid Chaos. Forearm right to the side of the head. Although if I was Steve Rosano, I pulled down those trunks a little bit. Creeping up into the Nalga. I don't want to look in there. What are you looking in there for? Look at that hurricane running out. Kid Chaos with the upper hand coming up here. Irish whip coming up from pillar to post. On the far side, oh, Chaos. Splash yeah. right onto Steve Rosano. Rosano wobbling now. Very powerful legs. Yeah, look at him ripping that stupid Goldberg shirt right off of Rosano. Chaos wants no part of that, that face. He has to look at that face. Of Goldberg. Oh, and Rosano just sneaking right out of the ring, taking the easy way out, it looks like. We saw earlier Kid Chaos, very, very powerful in the lower torso, the legs, like a couple of, of springs. Baseball slide now from Chaos on Rosano. Rosano crashing right into that security railing here at the LA Sports Arena. Moving the guard rail back about two, three feet. Double axe handle now to the back of Steve Rosano. Let's look at him running, he hits and runs. What a coward! He's photographers, what a chicken! Man. All he is is a chicken! These photographers have to be very careful not to get in the way of these powerful athletes. International photographers from all over the world. Oh, he looks like he's, he's putting them on the top rope. Rosano now with the forearm. High it's altitude. Chaos. High altitude. The Mount Everest of wrestling. Right Mount here. Everest, Mount Fuji, call it what the you top want. Rope. Here it comes! Superplex off the top! On to Kid Chaos! Chaos and landing very hard in the lower back. Going for the cover now, only two. Chaos kicks out. What resilience this young guy's got, Rivera. Lower. You cannot take anything away from Kid Chaos. I cannot take anything away from him. Very, DDT. Very smart wrestler, very good wrestler. But that suplex on the top rope affected the lower lumbar region. Very hard. 
lower lumbar region. Yeah. Look at this now. Rosano going for something. He's looking for maybe perhaps a table, perhaps a chair. Going under the ring. He's got one. He's got a steel chair. I see maybe he was going to find like Abdullah found the, the, the old English. Yeah, he was drinking a 40. Look at this. Crack right to the head. Big time chair to the head of Kid Chaos. Look at the pain registering through the, the entire body of Kid Chaos. Kid Chaos down and out in a world of trouble right now. Oh man, elbow drop right on top of that chair using his body with the force. Crashing it into his head. You can hear the sound of the, the skull in the chair. Only two. Chaos gets the shoulder up again. Rosano still in the attack, however. Got that chair in the ring still. Purchased it up. Got something in mind. I'm telling you, man, whoever invented the chair should be getting payments from Vince McMahon all the way down. You can't even, chairs are to sit on. They're not to, royalty, Rizzano, royalty payment for the chair invention. Got a steel chair. Rosano's going upstairs now. Chaos. High altitude. Chaos is completely out of it. Sitting on that chair. Oh, he was playing possum the whole time. He just, he just missed him with that tumbleweed from the top rope. Steve Rizzano attempting one of his, his trademark moves, the tumbleweed. And look at this now, payback from Chaos, stomping that chair right on the head of Rosano. The tumbleweed not connecting. Going for the cover, only two. He kept blowing, blowing out of the sport arena, out into the street, out of Martin Luther King Boulevard. Is that where he was? That's where the tumbleweed went. Irish whip now, boot to the midsection, Chaos off the rope, off, oh, foot right to the side of the head. You can hear that smack from over here, Rivera. That was a solid connection. Keep Chaos, always on target with the footwork. Now Chaos going to the outside, perhaps looking for a chair of his own. He's got one. He's got a chair of his own going into the ring with his chair. Rosano destroyed the other chair. Oh, crack right to the back. Rosano's losing the power, losing energy. He has to come up with a new reserve. Kid Chaos in complete control of this matchup now. Going for a suplex of his own, it looks like. No, wait a minute. Oh, he drove him right to those ropes. The groin and the stomach area right to that top rope. Middle torso. Now Kid Chaos, high altitude. Going to the top. Leg drop to Gui the back of the head. Guillotine leg drop to the back of the head, sending, sending him to the floor. Right onto the concrete floor springboard from that leg drop to the top rope. Chaos now, following him up to the outside. The fans very interested in this, this encounter here in the Los Angeles Sport Arena, beautiful downtown Los Angeles. Historic building. Armin's carry now. Kid Chaos got Rosano up. And he just drove him with the Chaos driver. Kid Chaos. Kid Chaos, you got it. I mean, look at him. He's got to be in the best shape of his life. This guy's huge. He's so young. Look at this from the top. Literal, beautiful, moonsault press. Going for the cover, this could be it. Oh, was that close. Whoa, was that close, Rivera. Only two. Only two. Rosano kicked out of that one. That was, that was an incredible, incredible display. I can't talk. Lake Six is, oh, look at that. Rosano countered. Draped his throat right on that top rope. Chaos goes down. Both men are down. Both men very winded right now. You know, I bet you if Lisi Boylan was here in the ringside, this Kiri Sono would get a little bit more energy, a little bit of more inspiration. Knee right to the head. Man, you're going to knock the table just thinking about these girls, Rivera. I love it. Side headlock now. That's why Steve I love the On to Kid Chaos, wrenching away at the neck, trying to cut off that air. Oh, look at that. Applying the pressure with that shot now. Referee Patrick Hernandez. Trying to restore some kind of order in this match. We've already seen two chairs, and here we see one again from Steve Rosano. You know, speaking of the Christy Miss, I had the privilege to be at the house of Robert Black the other day. You were at the house? I was there at the house. I was a very privileged guest. To be How did there. you get at the house? Being waited hand and foot by Christy Miss. Oh! Rosano! I mean, cold blood! Did you see how hard he swung that chair, Rivera? Very hard. Full impact from the top to the bottom. Right into the side of the head of Kid Chaos. This could be it. It could be lights out for the youngster. Across the ropes now. Irish whip reversal, though. Chaos. Oh, right through onto the concrete floor. Going through. Rosano! Rosano has to be careful. If he keeps flying, he's going to get straight in the guardrail. Look at him. Look arguing at with the fans. John with these fans out here. 
obviously not, not approving of his alliance with the Donald Trump or the pro wrestling Robert Black. Look at Chaos. Chaos has got something in mind. Off the ropes. Oh, flip over right on. Tumbleweed on to Steve Rosano. Crashing into that security railing. And look at these fans here at the sports arena. You know, just when you think that Kid Chaos has exhausted his repertoire of the moves, he pulls out another one. Well, you know, Rob Black doesn't like that chant. You can hear the thousands of fans chanting XPW. Oh, Rosano back right into the security railing, the back of his neck, and down onto the concrete. That did not what look force. good. That did not look good. Rizzano landing head first. You see the top of his skull landing on the concrete. Man, right into the ring now. Steve Rosano, Kid Chaos, following him up. This this match is back and forth like a, like a teeter totter, brother. Double close eye, both men are down. Now it's up to the first man to get up to make sure that this match continues. Otherwise, both these guys have taken so much out of each other right now. Referee Patrick Hernandez laying the double count down. Up to number four. Both these guys, it looks like Rosano may be getting up first. I'm telling you, they need a little inspiration. Something, some kind of external factor, external Damn. stimulus. What are you talking about? Stimulus and laboratories and and I don't know what I'm talking burners. about. Look at that, Rosano's got a chair. He's got a chair, Chaos, Chaos ducks out of the way. Oh, wow. heel kick right to the chair. Walk at that, right in your head. What a super kick that was. The chair right into the face of Steve Rosano and Chaos. Chaos could fly tonight. The high flying sensation, Kid Chaos. Look at Kid Chaos getting extra frequent flyer Wait miles. Wait a minute, this could be right. the flying guillotine. This has got to be it, it's over. Kid Chaos spending a lot of time in the air. Appreciated the by these fans here at the sports arena. This, what is this? What is Jake Lawless doing out here? Jake Lawless. What if Rob Black's henchman, he's got referee Hernandez all tied up. On oh, the Messiah. Come on, referee, turn around. This, no, no, it's the God's back. You know what, these guys realize that their body needs a little bit of help, a little what, bit. What are you talking about, assistance. a little help? A little bit of assistance. Bro. It's guys like you, the rocker dropper. Chaos, no, no, no. It's over, you've got to be kidding me, Rivera. Steve Rizzotto with another hard-earned victory here in the XPW. That was an incredible display of wrestling talent and technique. You can't be serious. You know, this is just ridiculous, Rivera. Rosano, he's a talented athlete, I'll give you that. So it's just completely ridiculous to see Jake Lawless and the Messiah help him win the match. Absurd. Hey, come on, Completely man. Completely absurd. Come on, Chico. People all the time saying that wrestling is not a team sport. This is not true. Wrestling is a team sport. With team effort. Like when I was a little boy in Cuba playing soccer in the street, it was a team effort. Like Robert Black Army. We are a team together forever. Yeah, alive and well. Meanwhile, their leader, Rob Black, is going nuts. Completely bonkers. You have no proof of this. You have no proof. Listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen, when we return, Christy Miss. I would like to see you ring. produce some proof. There is no proof of this. Proof. Take a look at him. No proof. The guy's bananas. There is no proof. I can't believe it. Completely bonkers. No proof. July 22nd, live at the LA Sports Arena, XPW presents a one-year anniversary spectacular. In the main event, XPW champion Sabu puts the title on the line against his most formidable foe as Rob Black brings Terry Funk to XPW. Their battles are legendary now. XPW will experience the carnage. Tickets to the Super Show available at all Ticketmaster locations. July 22nd, 8 p.m., the LA Sports Arena. Rob Black says to Sabu and Lazy, go fuck yourself. Get your official XPW merchandise. T-shirts of the Messiah. Homeless Jimmy. Hungry, homeless, and hardcore. Don't cross the boss's wife. I'm talking about Lizzie Borden. The official XPW logo T-shirt. This ain't your daddy's wrestling. Tag team superstars. The West Sider. Sabu. Scarred for life. White Trash, Johnny Webb, Fried Chicken, and Ass Kicking, our official XPW embroidered baseball cap with front and back logo. XPW's home videos, 
of Lizzie Borden. Christy Miss, XPW TV's The Revolution will be televised, baptized in blood, hardcore conception, and 8x10 glossies of your favorite XPW stars. Get your official XPW merchandise today. XPW's official website at www.xpwrestling.com or call the XPW hotline at 818-779-6475. For months now, Christy Mist has been forced to endure tons of humiliation from Rob Black and Lizzie Borden. Oh, come on, man. You didn't even see the footage from last week when Robert Black gave the present to Lizzie Borden. Come on. This woman can't do anything right. The basic thing, like carrying the grocery, she's falling all over the place. The soda can hit her, hit her in the forehead. She's falling in the pool. Man, this girl is a clutch, clutch. I can't believe it. In Cuba, in Miami, she will not get Three burros for the marriage. Burros? You know, the, the donkey. Donkeys. Uh, all right. But Christy wanted to set things straight, so she went to the ring. What is this? Christy missed in the ring. She's got the microphone. Apparently, she's got something to say. Let's listen up. It's party time, Chico. He's plus. I'm ready. All right, all right. Calm down. Can you guys please shut up? I have something to say. She was stuffed in the trunk of a car, an airtight, airtight, I mean, it had to be for two days from Rob Black for Lizzie's pet. Well, she's got some, I guess, some security here. She, she, she what went, is this all about? She went for assistance from the supernatural, supreme. Look at him. Look at him. King of the Deathmatch champion. This is one of the most unusual combinations I have ever Imagine here in the SPW. This truly is the beauty and the beast. This is Frankenstein and his bride. Right here in the SPW. Look at this. Frankenstein? That's Fra supreme. Frankenstein, bro. Huh? What are you talking about Rob Black's boots again? Christy Miss in the ring. What does she have to say to, to Supreme? I mean, why, of all the people, why him? The fans love this guy supreme. Look at fans. that. Oh, look at that glare. Yeah, very adoring, loyal fan. A walking horror film himself. Whoa! Wow, man. What is this? Oye, la lengua, bro. I know what that means. Esto that es de means película. The... Yeah, tongue. I want to be supreme. Oh, hey, lengua. Larry, sit down, want... man. <laughs> look at you. Knock the monitor over the table, oh, teetering. Yeah. <laughs> They got this little bull civil war. Lazy. Everybody knows where I'm at with that ass with some poo. And Rob, you. You bring Messiah out. Now you little pretty boy, get your ass out of here and show me what the you got. Supreme calling out the Messiah. 
Man, I can't believe it. You see that? He's kissing her, hugging, touching in the All right, right man. What are you rubbing against me? You're lucky Tony T caught that monitor before it fell. The Messiah coming out. You can hear his music playing here at the sports arena. Supreme calling him out. I mean, is he going to answer the challenge? I don't know. The Messiah. Can you tell? There he is. Oh, he's got the microphone. The number one contender, man. The Messiah. Hey. Hey, Supreme. You know something? To be the king of the death match, you're an awfully big crybaby. It's all about what you did again, you suit. You know something? Why don't you just shut up? match man he's getting on the way already he's get him out of the ring mayhem is chaos all over the place outside the ring inside all over man messiah telling the referee to keep supreme watch his punches keep him away from me look at all the fans look at all the fans for supreme big time club of people solidified behind the monster that is supreme and behind supreme as well christy myth I mean, where did this alliance come from? Look at the Messiah challenging Supreme. Supreme, you wanted him, you got him. The beauty and the beast right here. In Beautiful SPW. arm drag from the Messiah. I can't believe Look it. Look at him sitting in the all cocky in the turnbuckle. Yeah, you took care of him. Uh, he's got a lot. He's got a long ways to go in this match before you beat the king of the death match, Supreme. You ask me, man, having PC Miss outside the ring is like a, a special weapon. Whoa. A secret weapon. Two arm drags now from the Messiah. I will give it up. He is impressive. Why he's joined Rob Black, why he's joined the army is beyond me. You know what I'm talking about? Please, Claude, you got that. Yeah, I know. There. You, you're getting tired. Would you calm down, Rivera? Arm, arm drag now. Ring of the arm from the Messiah. Oh, look at that counter now from Supreme. Irish whip coming up. Going for a step wow. toe hold. The Messiah goes down. Look at that single leg take down. That was beautiful. Oh. Messiah I, charging in, misses. Look at these right hit off. Oh. Stiff shots now. Kick. I don't know if that was to the coin or not. Now to the chest area. The Messiah is down. Supreme exhibiting newly found amateur technique in the middle of the ring. I'm gonna start calling him Supreme Brisco. Supreme who? Brisco. To the far side. Oh! Look at that clothesline. You can hear it from over here at the broadcast table, Rivera. Messiah went crashing down with authority. There is no questioning when Supreme is in the ring because you can hear every move in the very last row here in the Sport Arena. From pillar to post one more time. Messiah goes crashing in. Oh, hopped right over Supreme. You see that? Supreme attempted the spear, but Messiah, the tremendous agility of Messiah, allowed him to get out of the way, to step aside. Messiah taking complete control, complete advantage of this matchup. Choking Supreme with his foot now. Irish whip from pillar to post Supreme to the far side. Messiah follows. You know, it's going it's to be very tough if Messiah gets his pace, gets his strike going. It's going to be very hard for Supreme to catch up because Supreme is all about the power. Messiah is all about the speed. You understand what I'm telling you? I understand Chris Cole. exactly what you're telling to. Right, wait, look at this. The holy roller from the ring apron onto the concrete floor, onto Supreme, who goes crashing into the security railing. Look at Supreme temporarily knocked unconscious there in the in the guard rail. And these fans, thousands of them here at the LA Sports Arena. Solely behind Supreme. Osiah is looking for something now under the ring. Perhaps a table, perhaps a chair. 
I'm telling you, man. He's too, got a chair. Too Masai's much violent, got a chair. Too much violent crap in the SPW. The weapons are disappearing from the ring. Oh, look at that supreme counter zone with the foot right to the midsection. Irish whip coming up into the security railing. The Messiah. Right in the back. The pain of the spinal cord. And these fans. Here much ringside area enjoying it. As Supreme, Messiah is setting up his own demise, perhaps, no! Supreme misses and hits the ring post! And the Messiah counters now! Fist to the head, forearm, into the ring post! The brutality of this match is getting very hot, very high. What do you expect? This is the King of the Death Man Champion Supreme! This is the Messiah, this is XPW Rivera! Get over it already, and stop glaring over at Christie. I can't help it, bro. DDT oh. into the concrete floor! Concrete meeting the head of Supreme directly with that DDT by Messiah. Messiah still a little hurt from being smashed in the guardrail on the back. Messiah breaks the count now, rolling in and out of the ring very quickly, choking him with that steel chair. The Messiah! Cutting off the wind supply to the throat is Messiah with the chair. Very vindictive. I mean, this guy calls himself the Messiah. Give me a break. Setting up the chair now. Look at this. He's taking off like a launching pad. The rocket. Pow! Splash I right on Supreme. That was a beautiful plancha there by, by Messiah. Messiah catching a little bit. Maybe lost, lost some wind there. I don't know. He's holding his own stomach. Both these guys completely winded now. Fighting on the outside. Messiah hurting his own hand right into the step. Supreme using the step as a weapon. He looks like he's going to grab the table, yes. He's got the timekeeper's table exactly right, Rivera. I think he's going for his trademark maneuvers. We could see the toad splash. The Messiah perched on that table now. The ringside area. We can get a camera down there, please. Supreme going into the ring. He could be going upstairs. Supreme getting ready to climb the high altitude. He could be going to the second rope, apparently. We've seen this before. Supreme perched up there. Wait a minute, the Messiah. Oh, low blow right to the groin. Catching Supreme. Supreme making the mistake of not utilizing the time. He's got the chair. Oh, right to the head. Supreme goes down from the second rope all the way down to the ring canvas. He had all the time. Christy missed very concerned on the outside. Supreme had all the time in the world to do the toss splash, but he wasted time looking at the Christy miss. What do you think you're doing this whole match? Hey, but I'm not wrestling. I'm sitting here looking. Yeah, but you're supposed to be looking at the wrestling, Rivera. Come on. Messiah's got a chair. Supreme is down, though. Boots to the chest area. Messiah taking complete advantage of the of the knocked out Supreme. Is he conscious? Look at the limp body of, of Supreme, almost without the light. Looks like it could be a bulldog coming up, drives him down. Beautifully executed bulldog by Messiah. Messiah rolls Supreme over. This could be it. What an upset. This would be only two. Only two. Does that look like the blood coming from the head? I believe so. Supreme I believe Supreme was busted wide open. It could have been from that chair shot. And now the Messiah grabs the timekeeper's table. What a match this has been, Rivera. What a matchup. Tremendous display of wrestling talent versus brutal force and power. And now the Messiah tries to get that, that table in the ring. He's winded as well. He's trying to do the best job he can. As Supreme busted open inside of the ring. And look at this. Supreme's got the chair. What could possibly be coming up here? Whoa, right to the back of the Messiah. Messiah had no idea that was coming. Tremendous blow of the chair to the back of Messiah. Now what is Supreme getting ready to do here? I can't Supreme's figure it out. Supreme's got something in mind, it looks like. Perching that chair in the center of the ring. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, did you see that? Right to the lower abdomen area on the top of that chair. Look at how the chair is left in a grotesque display of bent metal and, and twisted mass. Supreme getting the chair ready. The table, the mesa. Getting the mess already for more destruction. And the Messiah just went down almost face first right to the mat. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, he, there it is. He's busted wide open. I think he caught himself right on that chair when he was going down. Supreme's got the table. Double what? blood. Double blood match. Here, he's brought This is a bloodbath is what this is, Rivera. Oh, look at it. Presence of mind from the Messiah catching Supreme to the groin. However, Supreme still on both feet. This is turning into a display of of 
brutality by two savage guys here in the sport arena. Look at this. This guy refusing to Look give up. Wait a minute. No, spinning DDT, Supreme counters. With the power that Supreme has, man. He's, he's full of blood, full of blood, but the energy is still there. I love it. Supreme perching the Messiah on the timekeeper's table, which is in the middle of the ring, pointing, going up, going upstairs. High altitude. He's taking Supreme. a little time, though. Look at the Messiah. He just fell off the table. This guy's got to be passed out. Both of these guys, I can't believe it, how they are still standing, losing blood. Wait a minute. What chair. is Raw Black doing? He's got a chair. Raw Black and Lizzie Borden out about the ringside area. Whoa! Oh, power bomb! What it's, power? What force that was? It's about time the boss came out to, to ringside. Why? You got Christy Miss there on the other side. You got she to, has done nothing in this match, Rupert. You're grasping it strong. You got to even up the side, man. Oh, come on! Messiah perched on the table once again. Supreme apparently going upstairs. Lizzie Borden and Rob Black, what are they doing here? What's, what's Chrissy doing with the chair, oh, man? Chrissy, wait a minute. Maybe I spoke too soon, handing it to hey, Supreme. Hey, what? Oh! Hey, look at that. Wait He's, a minute, Rob. Oh, oh. oh crack right to the head. Rob Black's chair just hit the chair Supreme was holding. Just and look at this, the Messiah. Referee Patrick Hernandez distracted by the commotion between Lizzie and Chrissy. This allowed Robert Black to get in the ring. Going for the God spec. Wait a minute, though. From the top rope, double act handle the back through the table. The Messiah pinning king of the deathbed supreme. Oh my goodness, it's over. What an upset. Complete brutality here, ladies and gentlemen. In the sport arena, complete chaos. The Messiah is victorious. Thanks to Rob Black. What an upset that was. King of the deathbed supreme. I mean, unbelievable. Rivera, I'm Did almost speechless. That, Did you see Lizzie Borden attack Lizzie Miss at the ringside? I what? sure did. That was that. It's about time that that happened. You could tell that that was building up the tension between those two. Building up it was gonna explode sometime. Well, those two beauties were just having it out at the ringside area. Look at the Messiah taunting Christy Miss. Come on, Supreme. Oh man, in a world of hurt. That's her woman right. now standing by her man. The sea of pain. Look at him. What a matchup that was. Christy Miss trying to revive the bloodied, the Crimson Supreme. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. You know what, man? Christy Miss should ride around in the ambulance to the accidents of the cars so she can revive the victims as well, man. Can you believe that? Look at that. Who is she? Supreme. I mean, revived by Christy Miss. This new alliance hiring Supreme for security did not get much in that match, but man. You can see how pissed off that made Lizzie Borden. What? Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, Chico, look right there. What a pairing that was. What a match that was. Stay with us, everybody. Supreme. Yeah. Can you believe what they did to you at the last match? Yeah. Can you come to talk to me? Yeah. Anything for you. Thank you so much. You know, I'm so glad that I got you here. Being with Lizzie and Rob, did you see what they did to me? I mean, I was in a trunk for two days. And uh, Messiah, did you see that? When he clotheslined me? Yeah, that's... Ugh. You know, you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see you and Messiah in, in one of those things where you have, like, the um, those things that you, like, screw in, and you use it for, like, no, no, not that. The, you screw it in, you, you use it to, like, read. It's, it's hot. Um, light bulb? Yes, 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 the light bulb. Um, that and um, those, the, the long thing, the pokey thing, it, it makes you bleed. It's like, um, oh, um, the long thing goes around the ring. It's, um, oh, bar, bar, bar wire? Yes, barbed wire. I'd like to see you and Saya in using the barbed wire and, yeah. and, the, light, and the light bulb. And and yes, and it's death match. Yes, that's it, that's it. Oh, thank you. Would you do that for me, please, please, please? I'll get him a death match. Oh. I'll do it for you. Rob Black, I do you way too many times. And then his little Salvation Army with their little leader, the Messiah. I beat him before, but this time it's for you. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. Mm, thank you so much. Okay, get dressed. Meet me in the lab. Oh, I thought we were playing tennis.
Oh, hey, Chaos. What's up? What's up, Kevin? Hey, your lazy's back. Yeah, but he left like an hour ago, man. He left already? Damn. But listen, man. I told him all about the match. He's psyched about it. Kid Chaos, Steve Rosano, I quit match, LA Sports Arena. It's all set, kid. Cool. Was there something else? Yeah, there was another thing. You know, I've been with this company since day one. Busting my ass, putting my life on the line. No Kid Chaos t-shirt. Everyone next to has got a t-shirt. Larry Rivera's got a t-shirt. Well, who's Larry Rivera? Listen, Chaos, man. Larry Rivera has a t-shirt because he kisses Rob Black's ass. You kiss Rob Black's ass? I'll never I'm... kiss Rob Black's ass. Rob Black is the epitome of evil. Everything wrong with XPW today is because of Rob Black. <sighs> Just... <sighs> Listen, man. Your time comes, you'll get a t-shirt. Stick with Lazy, and I guarantee you, as soon as he gets power back, you're going to get Kid Chaos t-shirt. I'll walk you to your car. Come on. All right. Be patient. No. I got it under control. I got it under control. Wait, wait, I hear something on. That was nothing. It was nothing. Keep going. Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Mr. Black? I know it's pretty good. Mr. Black? You know, what can I... Mr. Black? What? Can't you see I'm on the phone with Eric right now? Listen, this time it's the federal marshals. They want to issue you a lawsuit. Lawsuit? Dude, I'm not here. Dude, get rid of him. I'm definitely not here. Okay? Okay, I'm on the phone. Please. Yeah, I don't know. That lawsuit thing, whatever. I don't know. The name. I, I don't know. I, yeah. I know. Because, my friend, we will never surrender. <laughs>